Well, hey, hey, welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast, No More Excuses. And yes, this is Sandy Ballard, your host, and I appreciate you being here, listening, sharing the podcast. Thanks to all the new followers on Twitter and Instagram, and even on probably LinkedIn, I think. I got a couple new ones, but don't know if they are you, listeners, unless you message me. So if you connect with me, please do uh, message me and let me know that you are a longtime listener, first-time connector. <laughs> last week, the last few days, or January, are upon us, right? Not the last, I guess it is the last week of January, but... February starts Friday, I believe. So today's actually my sister's birthday. Doubt she's listening. You never know. Happy birthday, sis. Any other birthdays out there? If so, message me and have a good one. All right. Last week was all about how awareness helps create change. And I have asked all my clients to stop and look around and and what sort of things that they become aware of and then we've talked about it and talked about what they became aware of and it wasn't easy for for some of them and it was funny because they'd be like well I don't really know you know but once we started talking through the challenges and successes that they've had since we had last met there was awareness in every single conversation including one where I actually met with uh, I meet with the owner and then two of the managers and this may seem silly, but they have had problems with staff and the new phone system. They've had this phone system for about a year, and it just keeps the, the drop calls and the, um, just the resistance to logging in and logging out and knowing how to use it have become increasingly worse over the last uh, few months. And like I said, it may seem silly, and, and uh, the owner and I were talking, she's like, I'm just so tired of talking about this. I'm like, I'm tired of hearing about it. So what's going on? Why is there such a block to logging in, logging out, being able to use this? Sometimes, yeah, you get into work, you get busy, maybe you came back from lunch, there's clients or customers or patients, whatever type of business you have lined up, and you just jump in and forget to log in. So the phone actually rings to your phone. So we were talking through this, and I actually asked both managers as I met with them, and one department uh, said that they're frustrated with, that the other department sort of forgets to log in, and so all the calls get pushed to their department. And so perhaps there might be a little resentment, a little revenge going on there. And then the other manager, where that department are the ones that tend to quote unquote forget to log in. Um, their personality type, if you've ever taken the disc, they're all eyes. So they're all the ones that are like fun and talkative and, and outgoing and squirrel kind of thing. And they forget to log in. But the manager said, I don't think anyone really wants to answer the phone. So there it is. So we're, we've created awareness about what is going on and now we can start dealing with the issue because it's truly causing division in the departments and frustration frustration with customers because they can't get through frustration with the owner because of potentially lost revenue right if your phones aren't ringing there you're not making money right so the owner's awareness uh, came from looking into the system, what's going on with how it goes to voicemail, how long people are on hold, but people have to be logged in to even get there. And so her awareness is to actually make changes with the, with the system on the back end. And now we're going to go and look at what's going on and how, and I had the managers actually create a solution of what they're going to do. And it uh, we'll start with just a simple note on everyone's computer, how to log in, and don't forget to log in, and gentle reminders until you get into the habit, until they all get into the habit. And that quote from last week, we cannot change what we are not aware of. Once we are aware, we cannot help but change. So they didn't, you know, maybe somebody not didn't wasn't aware that if they don't log in, 
or one whole department doesn't log in, the other department is overloaded and vice versa. And they aren't aware that if no one's logged in, it's not even going to voicemail. So now we can address the issue. So what was your awareness, right? Personally, professionally. Mine, I had, uh, I've talked off and on about my personal goal of, you know, a simple five, maybe now eight pounds to uh, lose. And I started looking back at that. And yes, I had talked uh, briefly at the end of the year about what's one goal I did not achieve. And I had the knee issue and, you know, was working out less and, and running less. But I started looking at really what was, you know, what was going on. Well, I added up that I was working out four hours less a week. And one of those workouts was spin class, which burns a shit ton of calories, right? And I was running about 10 to 15 miles less. Well, that allowed me to stop being so pissed off at myself and frustrated and focus on increasing my workouts, getting back into it, and paying attention to my knee so I don't relapse, right? But letting go, so that awareness, I was like, oh my God, you know, this is why, and um, now, you know, I can let go of that pissed offness and get and focus more on what I'm doing and how I can recover and what I can do about fixing this issue. So speaking of the gym, I was there, I was stretching after a good long run, finally getting back into it, like I said, and this guy just kind of groaned and plopped down at the other end of the mat. And he was not a small guy, not like ridiculously huge, but you know, a bigger guy. And he had one of those weighted medicine balls in front of him and he was just sort of staring at it and like, he looked, spent, you know, one, one look. And I was like, dude is worn out. And, you know, I, you know, you start thinking about what could he be thinking, except am I going to die or how am I going to live through this? But what came to my mind next was everyone's struggle is real. You know, that's kind of the new phrase is the struggle's real today. And it's usually when shit's going sideways, right? Um, but everyone's struggle is real. We don't know what is the struggle, but it's real. Everyone's is, might be different. Some people might have the same struggle. When I'm working with business owners, a lot of times, the, the, not everyone has phone issues and staff issues with phones, but the bottom underlying uh, struggle might be the same as another company. And we've got to look at those things and see, you, you know, again, the awareness is what can help you through the struggle. You know, and that whole perception, I don't know what this dude's struggle is, whether he, I've never seen him at the gym before, so did he come from another gym? Is this a New Year's resolution? Did he just realize his awareness was, I got to get some shit done and get some weight off of me? I don't know, but you could just tell his struggle is real. I've had people come up to me at the gym, and how many miles are you doing today? This was a few months ago before my knee issue. Oh, only four or maybe, you know, six or whatever. And they're like, oh, I thought you were doing more. And it's like, well, I wish I'm not that fast. But there are every, you know, no matter where we are, we're at the mall, we're out just at the restaurant, we're out in life. And we see somebody in that perception of, oh, they've got it pulled together, or they don't have it that hard. Perception is not reality. And that happens to be chapter four in my new book, The Magic Pill, if you haven't read it yet. <laughs> but we've got to let go of perception and being reality. I mean, again, this guy at the gym, I have no idea what his struggle is, but it's real. And by taking uh, your awareness that you've had or that you continue to create and making the changes will help you through the struggle whether it's mentally, physically, personally, or professionally, it's real. Again, we don't always need to know the struggle or see the struggle, but we can offer a supportive word. You know, I've had, uh, I've been in races before, and you see you're so close to the, the finish line. And I, at one time, I, I had a guy just kind of stop and just like, ugh, you know, and bend over. And I just came up behind him and pat him on the back. I was like, dude, finish line's right there. Come on, you can do it. And he found me at the end of the race and was like, thank you so much. So anything like that, offer a supportive word. If we see somebody that's struggling, offer a helping hand, offer to help. 
And unfortunately, many times we don't see the struggle that people are going through because they do a really kick-ass job of hiding it. But that awareness, if you just get off that hamster wheel sometimes and create more awareness, slow down just a smidge and look around. And again, just eh, it's kind of like get off the crazy train, like I said, just look around. That's what creating awareness is. And we can open our eyes to other people's struggle that they think they're hiding. And how can you help them, right? So this week, yes, I'm going to challenge you to use your awareness to notice other people's struggle, right? And I want you to email me, sballard at growingforward.biz, or post in the comment section wherever you're listening to this, what's your struggle and what can help you through the struggle, all right? Do you need someone to help you? Do you need a connection? I had a, 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 a colleague of mine, one of my bitches, just call me and go, I need an affirmation. I need you to tell me I'm badass. I know it. I know I am. I just need to hear it right now from somebody else but my head. And she was like, that was awesome, before, right before she walked into a really important meeting. So sometimes it's just that simple. All right? I'm challenging you guys. Use your awareness to help somebody else's struggle or to notice, I guess, that somebody else is struggling and how can you help them. But I want to hear from you. What is your struggle and what can help? Have a great week. Cheers.